Hello everyone, my name is Apple Guy, and welcome back to another episode of my blind playthrough of Undertale. In the previous video, we ran from Undyne yet again. She caught us, but she knocked us down and therefore spared. Hey, the duck! There's a little bird who wants to carry you across. Accept the bird's offer? No, I'm okay for now. Good to see you, duck. I told you I'd get you. Anyway, we were saved by the ghost that apparently we had seen in a previous video. I didn't know that. What? 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 It's a living. What's a living? Do you make fish? Rugs? Doesn't seem like anyone's home. Seems like the owner is right there. But alas, we will continue forth. Yeah, so some ghost came in and saved us from a dummy that was mad at us. Super cool. I'm visiting Waterfall from the city. Synchronicity? My neighbor's daughter looks about your age. Her name is Susie. I feel like you two should become, should be friends. You have a neighbor's blessing. Susie. North, Bluk Acres. East, Hotland. Somewhere is Temi Village. Don't know where that is. Uh, that looks like potentially progress. What if we go up? Uh, okay, wait. Oh, Nabstablook. I think that's his name. That's someone's name. What is this? Oh, hello. Oh, is he gaming? Oh, he really came. Sorry, I wasn't expecting that. That's not much, but make yourself at home. Books. This CD is labeled Spook Tunes. Play it? Sure. You play the CD. I've heard worse. This CD is labeled Spook Wave. Play it? Sure. Oh, it's like a trap remix? I'm gonna wait for the beat to drop. Oh, it's not yet. I thought it was going in. You can't see me, but I'm, I'm waiting for the beat. Okay. Down, 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 down. Da, 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 boom. Okay, next song. CD is labeled Gooliday Music. Play it. That one's just bad. Turn it off. CD stops moving. It's a spider web. There's this flyer for a bake sale on it. Uh, do you want to listen to some tunes or something? The computer's inter internet browser is open to a music sharing forum. Well, that's cool. Oh, that's my TV. There's a show I like to watch on it. So oh, it's the ghost talking. I thought that was me being introspective. Oh, are you hungry? I can get you something to eat. Yeah, that'd be great. Is there anything? This is a ghost sandwich. You want to try it? Yeah. You attempt to bite into the ghost sandwich. You phase right through it. Oh, never mind. Well, uh, good. Oh, good. Good to see you. After get me, I like to lie on the ground and feel like garbage. It's a family tradition. Do you want to join me? Yeah, I'm, I'm in your house, so I should I should do your things. I kind of want to just leave and progress the game, but sure, I'll lay down for a bit. Here we go. You lie down as long as you don't move. So only move around when you want to get up, I guess. I'll give you five seconds. That seems like the kind thing to do. It's been five seconds. Goodbye, ghost. Well, that was nice. Thank you. Thank you, ghost. You saved me once. It's locked. Very good. Okay, if we go over here now, there's a bunch of snails. It's a snail. For some reason, you can't help but wonder what it tastes like. A snail, snail, snail. A long journey extends in front of you. Snail, snail. Reach far and stretch up beyond the horizons. Snail, snail. Ghost snail -a Sam Buell. I don't get it. I've been looking, I've been long overdue for a second house. This snail is counting dollar bills. Rich snail, hot dang. Awkward, I'm working right now. I mean, welcome to the Bluck family snail farm. Yeah, I'm the only employee. This place used to get a lot of business, but our main customer disappeared one day. Now it's just some hairy guy that shows up once a month. It's a shame, is it a snail racetrack? Is that what we've got going on over here? Oh, hello. Do you wanna play a game? It's called Thunder Snail. Oh, is this all the same guy? I didn't even realize that. I think it's the same ghost, you're just appearing in different places. The snail's a race, and if you win, if the yellow snail wins, you win. It's 10G to play. Sure. Okay, press it repeatedly to encourage your snail. Ready? Three, two, one, go! Okay, come on. Did I over-encourage him? Oh, I frightened him. I didn't mean to frighten him. Race end. Okay, let me try again. Oh, looks like you encouraged your snail too much. All that pressure to succeed really got to her. Oh. Alright, I'll try again, I'll try again. Alright, here we go. Thunder snail, go. Okay, here we go. Ready? Three, two, one, go! You got it, little snail! You're doing great! 
keep it up. Should I not encourage the snail at all? Keep going, little snail. I think every time I encourage it, it slows down. This is a scam. Get me out of here. Go, snail. You can still win. Keep it up. I don't know. Yeah, I'm not going to encourage the snail anymore. This is it. This is I feel like I spammed it the first time. This time, though, I feel like encouraging the snail is just a bad idea. Oh, you both tried your best, but the snail looks discouraged. Her best wasn't good enough. Oh, all right. One more try. One more try. Okay. Thunder snail. Here we go. Ready? Hands off the keyboard. Three, two, one. Do whatever you're going to do, snail. It's lose. This snail sucks. This is not a, a good snail. I wonder if I, you know, I did a snail race one time. Maybe my older sister did a snail race. It was in kindergarten. I remember the kindergarten teacher having everyone bring in a snail. And they, they I don't remember what the objective of the snail race was. But my sister's snail did not win a snail race. In fact, it did not race at all. It was sleeping. Or it was just an empty shell. I honestly don't know. But there used to be a lot of snails out in my front yard. I wonder if it's because I don't go out early enough. Or if it's like climate change is not cold enough for them or what. But I haven't seen snails in the front yard in forever. Okay. Yep. That's a shame. I'm going to leave now. I'm not going to. I wasted 30 G on that minigame. A waste of 30 G. Well, thanks for saving me, guy. I'm going to go this way now and see what's beyond. Whoa there. I've got some neat junk for sale. Okay. I'm interested. Uh, there's a crab apple. A CT. Cloudy glasses. Uh, okay. And a torn notebook. Invincible longer is what it says. Don't be shy now. Anything you want to know? I've been around a long time. Maybe too long. Studying history sure is easy when you live through half of it yourself. Ha 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 ha. Eh, you don't know what that is? What are you teaching your kids in school nowadays? Wah ha ha ha. That's the Delta Rune. The emblem of our kingdom. The kingdom of monsters. Wah ha ha ha. Great name, huh? It's as I always say. Oh, King Fluffy Bones, can name for beans. Emblems meaning new. That emblem actually predates written history. The original meaning has been lost to time. All we know is that the triangle symbolizes monsters below, and a winged circle above symbolizes something else. Most people say it's the angel from the prophecy. Oh my gosh, let's keep going. Oh yeah, the prophecy. Legend has it there's an angel who, will, who has seen the surface will descend from above and bring us freedom. Lately, the people have been taking a bleaker outlook, calling that winged circle the angel of death, a harbinger of destruction, waiting to free us from this mortal realm. In my opinion, when I see the little circle, I just think it looks neat. Wah ha ha ha. The king. King Fluffy Buns? He's a friendly, happy-go-lucky kind of guy. If you keep walking around long enough, you'll probably meet him. He loves to walk around and talk to people. Eh? Why do I call Dreamer Fluffy Buns? Oh, it's a great story. I don't remember it. But if you come back much later, I'm sure I'll remember it by then. Undyne. Undyne? Yeah, she's a local hero around here. Though, through grit and determination alone, she fought her way to the top of the Royal Guard. Actually, she just came through about here asking someone to look just like you. I'd watch your back, kid. And buy some items. It might just save your hide. Wah ha ha Thank you. Goodbye, Turtle Man. You hurt my voice. Okay. We've got a stream of some sort. And this is an item box. What can I put away? I'm going to put away the manly bandana and the toy knife. Was I not wearing these? You equip the toy knife. Was I not? Oh, the ballet shoes is a weapon? Okay. First, I'm seeing of that. Okay, so I'm going to put the manly down and the toy knife away. And they'll put the punch card away. Okay, cool. Better press on. What does this say? Hurt, beaten, and fearful for our lives, we surrendered to the humans. Seven of their greatest magicians sealed us underground with a magic spell. Anything can enter through the seal, but only beings with a powerful soul can leave. There's only one way to reverse the spell. If a huge power, equivalent to seven human souls, attacks the barrier, it will be destroyed. Interesting. 
But this cursed place has no entrances or exits. There is no way a human could come down here. We will remain trapped down here forever. Well, I'm a human and I'm down here. But if I, I don't know, I honestly, freeing the monsters might be foolish. I feel like freeing the monsters and letting them go into the human world. The humans aren't prepared for them. They'll probably panic. You know, if you're just like at the grocery store and then you see Papyrus, you know, that might not end well for Papyrus. We'll have to wonder how to successfully incorporate. Special enemy Temi appears here to defeat you. Temi. How oh, could you? Uh, check. Temi. Rated 10 out of 10. Loves to pet cute humans. But you're allergic. Hi, I'm Temi. Oh my goodness, Temi. You have long Temi legs. I can't. There you go. Temi vibrates intensely. Should I feed Temi? Temi only wants Temi flakes. No, so hungry. Dies. Okay, Temi, don't worry. We will get you some Temi food. Temi forgot her other attack. Uh, feed Temi flakes? Should I talk? You say hello to Temi. Hoi, I'm Temi! Temi! Temi, how do I... How do I spare you, Temi? I need... I need advice. Temi forgot her other attack. Oh. Good. That was a fun encounter. I like Temi. Uh, huh. I appear... To be... Ah. Do I have to... Oh, wait. Do I have to walk through the darkness, as it were? That is interesting. Am I doing something incorrectly? Oh! I don't even know I could go up and over. Silly me. Let's do that. Instead of what we were doing before. No! What do we have here? Mold small. Get rid of one of them. Mold small sits motionless. Flirt. You wiggle your hip. Suddenly. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh my goodness. It's a gosh darn like-like. No. Yeah, it looks like a like-like from The Legend of Zelda, but the attack looks like a, a pokey. Moldy bug, what does it say? Gyrates reservedly. Uh, unhug. You don't hug mold bug. It, it appreciates your respect of its boundaries. Roar. Well, happy to be, uh, you know, happy to give you your room. Moldy bug seems comfortable with your presence. Good to see you. Thanks for hanging out. Perfect. Okay. That was an interesting enemy. It's like a mold small, but bigger. What do we have here? Another bit of lore. Without candles or magic to guide them home, the monsters use crystals to navigate. Well, they chose a very cool method of transportation. Because crystals are hype. They, these look really pretty. You know, I can appreciate a good crystal. Washua and Aaron appear. I do not want to fight either of you. And you're going to force me to. Swell. Please let me leave. Let me leave. Oh my gosh. I don't want to... Aaron is sweating bolts. Thank you. Please let me leave. Holy. Uh, astronaut food. What does this do? 21 HP. And eh, we'll just... I'll just survive. Oh, too dark. Too dark. This is bad. I have half a brain to, uh, dude, please let me see something. Give me any, just get me to a lantern. I, I don't even care if I go back to the start. I just need to get to a lantern, please. Oh my gosh. Anywhere there's a lantern, I, I beg. Anywhere at all. Anywhere. Oh my gosh. I, this is impossible. This is impossible. I see... Oh my gosh. Moldy Bug and Washua. I, you know... Clean me, Washua. Green means clean. Well, give me greens. I need to heal, Washua. I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. I couldn't see anything. Man, you're going to be all right. Appley, stay determined. I think it's our second game over, actually. We died once to the, uh, what was it? Like the, what was it uh, the dogs, I think? 
So I just want to get through this text again in case it's important to like have seen text. So I'm going to do this and then do the one about the king as well. So, you know, okay. Also, I guess let me buy a crab apple. Okay, exit. There we go. You know all that cool stuff that just happened? Well, forget it. Just kidding. We're just going to go redo it now. Uh, punch card and man the banana. Okay, let's get out of here. We didn't go too far, thankfully. Um, and I remember the ways that I need to go. That is one thing about Undertale is I never feel too far behind when it comes to like getting like lost. By the way, the thing I was going to say earlier was that I have half a brain to, um, I don't remember, half a brain to start fighting things. Especially, I'll tell you what, I will tell you what, I like Temi though. Uh, uh, flex. No, muscles are not cute. Oh, no. This guy. I was literally gonna say, I want to fight this guy. I hate this guy. Can I fight him? I'm gonna fight him. I hate this guy. Whoa, I'm sweating. I hate this guy. He just, I don't know why. His design bothers me. I don't like how he talks. I'm just gonna smack him. Come on in, the water's fine. Like he's, I don't know, he just seems gym bro -y. All right, get out of here. Huh, that's interesting. I can, I can smack him and still spare him. Good to know. I will have to potentially do that in the future. See, I do not like that guy. He, I don't, I don't enjoy that guy. So I can, I can rough him up and then spare him anyway. Good to know. Gonna, gonna potentially do that more often. I don't know what it is about the muscly, uh, freaking uh, merman, but he just, he gets me. He, he just irks me on another level. I wish it didn't, but it do. What do we fight now? Double mold small? Oh, it's not a double mold small, because this is the the very normal uh, mold big. It's not a mold small. He's huge. He's a large mold small. The mold big. I actually just call the mold big. That's funny. Unhug it. Whoa. I didn't mean to bother you, mold small. Gosh darn it. Mold big. Sorry. Can't even get his name right. Okay. Give me a fresh lamp so I can go where I need to go. I don't really know where that is. Okay, where's the next lamp? Where's the next lamp? There it is. Lamp. Okay, this is nothing. Lamp. This room, man. You gotta go from lamp to lamp. And if you're stuck in a place with no lamp, where's the nearest lamp? Where's the nearest lamp? Where's the nearest lamp? Over to the right. Lamp. Lamp. There we go. Jeez. I don't like this guy. All right, green means clean. Give me some green. Give me the green. He didn't really give me that much green. All right, woo, I'm sweating bullets. Well, you're about to get smacked. I'm gonna smack him. Fight, attack, one, one, one. Come on in, the water's fine. I keep cutting him off. I don't wanna hear him talk. I don't like this guy. I'm doing it. I did it. No need for a swimming suit. Dude, I want to just beat him up. I want to beat him up IRL. I wish I could. He's not letting me spare him. That means he's going to have to die. Wow. That's the very first time I've ever defeated a monster. It feels uh, like I'm playing an RPG. Dude, don't make it dark again, please. Behind you. Uh oh. It's Undyne. Dot, 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 dot. Seven. Seven human souls. With the power of seven human souls, our king, King Asgore Dreamer, will become a god. With that power, Asgore can finally shatter the barrier. He will finally take the surface back from humanity and give them back the suffering and pain that we have endured. Understand, human? This is your only chance at redemption. Give up your soul, 
or I'll tear it from your body. Holy. Um, Undyne, I'll help you fight. Monster Kid. Yo, you did it. Undyne is right in front of you. You've got front row seats to her fight. Wait. Who's she fighting? H hey! You aren't gonna tell me my parents about this, are you? Monster Kid potentially saved us. You aren't gonna tell my parents about this. I was gonna say, yeah, it repeats the lat. So that brings an interesting question of what. Who told the repeating flower what to say? You hear a passing conversation. Hmm, if I say my wish, you promise you won't laugh at me. You hear a passing conversation. Of course I won't laugh. Someday I'd like to climb this mountain we're all buried under. Standing under the sky, looking at the world all around. That's my wish. You hear laughter. Hey, you said you wouldn't laugh at it. Sorry, it's just funny. That's my wish too. That's a cute scene. However, this is, there is a prophecy. The angel, the one who has seen the surface, they will return and the underground will go empty. That was a nice, neat little, that was a cute little convo. I hope someday uh, those two people who had that convo get married. Yo! Monster kid. Monster kid. What do you, what do you, what do you need, monster kid? Yo, I know I'm not supposed to be here, but I want to ask you something. Man, I've never had to ask anyone this before. Um, yo, you're human, right? <laughs> Man, I knew it. Well, I know it now, I mean. Undyne told me, um, stay away from that human. So, like, um, I guess it makes us enemies or something. But I kind of stink at that, haha. <laughs> yo, can I say something mean so I can- Can you say something mean so I can hate you? Please? Sure, man. Huh? Yo, that's your idea of something mean? My sister says that to me all the time. You guys have to do it, haha. <laughs> yo, I... I hate your guts. You know, if he just said, I hate guts, that would have made us enemies, because that's a fantastic album. Listen to Guts by Olivia Rodrigo. Not that you probably haven't already heard it. Man, I... Such a turd. I'm... I'm gonna go home now. Goodbye. No! No, monster kid. Yo, wait, wait, help! I, I tripped! Undyne. I have to... Come on. Alright. There we go. Okay, I gotta go. I gotta go. Let me I, let me run away. Y y yo, dude. If if you want to hurt my friend, you're gonna have to get through me first. Monster Kid, don't be an idiot. I can hold my own. Why did that actually do something to Undyne? She's gone. Yo, you really saved my skin. Guess being enemies was just a nice thought. Haha. <laughs> Well, just have, we'll just have to be friends instead. Man, I should really go home. I bet my parents are worried sick about me. Walk very carefully. Later, dude. Guys, Undyne was like wicked scared of the, the concept of, of friendship. We'll have to keep that in mind. I can't move again. Oh, this is just panning up to show up. No! Seven. Seven human souls and King Asgore will become God. Six. That's how many we've collected thus far. Understand? Through your seventh and final soul, this world will be transformed. First, however, as is customary for those who make it this far, I shall tell you the tragic tale of our people. It all started long ago. Can I get a save point first, Sundine? No. You know what? Screw it. Why should I tell that story when you're about to die? Nah! I really need a save point. I haven't saved all episode. You, you're standing in the way of everybody's hopes and dreams. Alphys's history books made me think humans were compassionate. But you, you're just a remorseless criminal. You wander through the caves, attacking anyone in your path. Self-defense, please. You didn't kill them because you had to. You killed them because it was, so oh no. I did it once, Undyne. Because it was fun for you. Do you think it was fun when I found out? Do you think it's fun when people's family members never come home? Is that fun? No. But your time's up, villain. You won't hurt anyone else. A knight in shining armor has appeared, and all the pain you inflicted on the fallen. Every hope, every dream you've turned to dust, she's gonna send right back through your spear. Nah! I'll show you how determined monsters really are. Come on, step forward and let's end this. Thank heavens. 
The wind is howling. You're filled with determination. Yeah, I'm going to save. It's called the Undyne Arena. Well, I hope I didn't mess this entire playthrough up by uh, killing the merman with muscles. I hate that guy. So, um, hopefully my moment of frustration didn't ruin the game. I'm going to end things off here, though. Next time, I guess we're fighting Undyne. Ladies and gentlemen, that is going to be all for now, though. I want to thank you all so, so much for watching. If you have enjoyed, please hit like and subscribe. And tell your friends about my channel if you think they would enjoy it. It means a lot to me when you guys spread my videos around. And I'll catch you guys all back here next time for my next video. Until then, as always, take care.